We're at the Gambino family vineyard in Sicily and for the next few weeks we're going to be tasting a little bit of the flavors of Sicily or Sapori of Sicily. Of course we're going to do wine. What else are we doing? Gelato and a cooking demonstration at least. At least. Among the many things we'll be doing I'll also be working on my Italian hopefully. Which you're getting better and better at by the way. But you know the main thing about this area is that Mount Etna is here. And really what they say here about the Mongibello, did I get it right? Mongibello. Mongibello, or the beautiful mountain, is that while Mount Etna gives, it, it also, can, take. It can also take. That's correct. So what's the effect of Mount Etna on all well, of Mount this? Mount Etna has obviously devastated this area many times throughout the history, but if you, if you take a look around and you can see the beautiful things that grow as a result of the ash that she lets out fertilizing the ground. So the folks here understand pretty much uh, about her beauty and her majesty. And it's interesting, one of the farmers we talked to said, you know, thank you, Mount Etna. Always for... thank Mount Etna, okay, for her beauty, for her inspiration, for her gifts of life. And for the Sicilian people, it's the central point mm. of their existence. Of the eastern Sicily. Of the east, yes, that's correct. The western part of the uh, Sicily, which we'll be going to later on, has its own different beauty. But the province that we're in right now, the province of Catania, the province of Messina, is very much influenced by power. Silvana Recupero. I'm very excited to make arancini and pasta fresca. Si. With Mama Sicily. Si. Okay, so we're going to make pasta fresca first. Si. With semola. Semola di grano duro from Sicily, si, grano okay. siciliano, and pistachio salsa. Salsa di pistacchio, faremo la pasta fresca con la salsa di pistacchio di bronte, un'eccellenza per la cucina siciliana. And arancini with e poi faremo saffron, arancini, zafferano, yeah. ragù, meat, sedano, celery, carote, carrots, Cipolla, onion, onion, okay. and vino. And vino, rosso, okay. Okay. red wine. So first let's make the okay. pasta fresca. Procediamo con la pasta fresca. I've always loved cooking, so when the chance to get a cooking lesson with one of Sicily's top chefs popped up, I was really excited. I don't speak Italian, much less Sicilian dialect like Silvana, but two women in a kitchen, we managed to communicate with the help of Giovanni, Silvana's husband and Alfred. This is how you make them, folks. Take good notes. <laughs> we are going to make everything from scratch using only local ingredients. Here, they call it zero kilometer food. Semolatna, and, and it's very fine. It's very fine. Mm -hmm. La pasta in Sicilia è tradizione farla. We start with flour, pinch of yeast, salt, room temperature water, and mix it. Mm -hmm. Procediamo. Mix it up. Sì. L'acqua non c'è una dose precisa. Eh, dipende dalla umidità. Mixing time depends on the weather and humidity. Prova. Vai. Okay. Mm. Vedi com'è piacevole? Mm -hmm. Ok. Brava. È dura. Ha bisogno ancora di acqua. Faccio vedere. Ti faccio vedere? No? No, no. Ok. Uh -oh. Ok. Allora ti faccio look, yes, ok, guarda, il movimento, yeah. ecco. put the palm of your hands, yeah. ok, così, e poi giro la pasta e ancora vado. Then using the palm of our hands, we knead the dough. Va battuta, ripiega la pasta, così, repeat it, yeah. Sì. E adesso è step back. Beat, beat, oh, beat it, beat it. Beat it. Okay, beat I'm gonna beat it. it. <laughs> okay, from forza. Hard. Benissimo. Oh. Okay, la pasta. Wow. Lavoro okay. si fa per almeno una 20 minuti. Tw you have to work on this yes. for 20 minutes? Si, si. Do it. si. Ci vuole okay. forza. Okay. Yeah, you have to be strong, let me say. Esatto. <laughs> Let it sit for 15 minutes. Poi la si prende e si comincia a lavorare. Se ne taglia. Cut the dough into pieces. Alla volta. Okay. Io avevo già cominciato a farla. So we're going to make these. Okay. 
Ecco così. Roll them e out infine. and cut them again into smaller ones. Adesso lo farai tu. Farina di semola. Mm -hmm. Ok? E poi con questo attrezzino si passa. Using the special Sicilian tool, we lightly and softly roll it and lift it off using our thumb. Un po' un po' più forte, un po' più forte. No, these aren't coming no, out as good as you <laughs> Huh? Un po' più forte. Okay, a little harder. Okay. Okay, that's better. A little harder. Così. Ah. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Piano piano. Too much. Este. Un colpo solo. One swoop. Oh, yes. Brava. <laughs> brava. Vai. Little hard. Okay. Okay, perfecto. E così via. Okay. We put it on the screen and let it sit for three to four hours. Silvana says under Sicilian sun it could be even faster. Okay. We cook the pasta. Next we make the sauce, but first I want to find out more about this legendary Sicilian chef. Silvana, how many, how many years have you been cooking? And ah, Silvana has been cooking for 30 years and is referred to as the godmother of Sicilian cooking. Adoro. You love it. Io amo cucinare. E mi piace anche mangiare. It's your passion. Mm -hmm. Her favorite dishes to make are with fish and meat, but sweets are her pleasures to eat. Together with her husband Giovanni Balloni, they formed a nonprofit called Mama Sicily with the aim of enhancing the beauties of Sicily and educating travelers about the island's art, culture, and sea. Guarda che bron bronte. Green. Okay, back to the sauce. First, we take fresh pistachio and make it into a paste. No water, no water. No water. No. Just throw no. this in the blender Solo questo. and this is what comes yes. out. Wow. Yeah. Chop some onions, pancetta, Olio extravergine d'oliva oh, siciliano. Everything here is Sicilian. Tutto siciliano. Yeah. And brown them. Abbiamo fatto. Noi aggiungeremo, grazie. Aggiungiamo il pistacchio. Then add the pistachio paste. Cream. A little bit of cream. Pepper. Pepper, Pepper. salt. Okay. Di sale. A little parmesan. And stir it gently. Next, add the pasta into the pistachio mix. Once the pasta water is boiling, take two scoops of it and add it to the pistachio mixture. A little bit more Parmesan cheese. Parmigiano. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Whoa. Gira. Metti un po' la padella così. And flip it. Poi, tira verso di te. Okay? Okay. Inclina la padella. No, così. Okay, Meli, <laughs> brava, brava. You poi haven't tira, benissimo. Next, we Chiamato. scoop it into a bowl Chiamato. called the hat Chiamato. of the priest. Yes. Yes. priest. E faremo la nostra bella presentazione. Okay. Vuoi fare tu? Try you. Okay. Vai. Okay. Sprinkle it with ground pistachio and parmesan. And that pasta pistachio is... Uh, Tradizione, ok? Yeah. Batto, la presentazione è moderna. Beautiful. Okay? And voila, a modern way to serve a traditional Sicilian meal. Sicily has been dominated by at least half a dozen cultures, including the Greek, Romans, Arabs, and Spanish. All of them left their cultural and culinary mark. Now we're going to make arancini, that roughly translates to rice balls. Street food. Okay. Yes. yes, street food. Quindi, eh, this street food dates back to the 10th century when the Arabs ruled Sicily. Subito il riso. First, we brown one cup of arborito rice and olive oil. And then, water. add two cups of cold water. Salt. Now, 20 minutes. Let it cook for 20 minutes. And uh, let it water. cook for 20 minutes until the water is cooked. Okay. Next, we make the ragu, which is meat sauce. Salsiccia di maiale. Sausage. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
pancetta. And in this case, we're going to use pork sausage, pancetta, and ground beef. Fuori dal budello. Okay. Okay. Facciamo cadere qui. Vuoi fare tu? <laughs> My face turned nice and red here. Is that tu ami cucinare? Tu ami cucinare? Ti piace cucinare? You like to cook. I love to cook. I love to cook. So, con le mani, mix. Yeah, I like mixing. Okay. Vuoi fare tu? Oio. Sempre. Always. <laughs> now we're going to brown the three blended meats in olive oil. Aspetta, ti faccio okay. vedere, look. Dobbiamo piano piano. Spread it out, yeah. Un fuoco alto. Once it's nice and brown, add red wine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mescoliamo mix. Okay, I'll mix it. And carota. Carota. Sedano. Sedano. Cipolla. So, cipolla. Cipolla. Lasciamo evaporare un attimo e giù tutto. Chopped onion, celery and carrots. Sempre mescoliamo. Keep stirring. Mix. Then add passata or bottled tomato sauce. Add a small can of tomato paste. Salt. Next, a pinch of salt Alburello. and a bay leaf. Two tablespoons of sugar. Stop. Okay. Copriamo. Abbassiamo la fiamma. Put it down low, okay. 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 And two hours. Two hours? Yes. Okay. Secondo la tradizione siciliana, il grande tavolo di marmo mm. che c'era sempre... Silvana in... says many Sicilian homes have a marble in the kitchen to cook. The cold marble table and warm rice are ideal to form the shape of the rice balls. Un paio di minuti. Il tempo che riusciremo... In some households, the rice is made the day before and stored in the refrigerator. But Silvana prefers to work with warm rice so it does not clump and makes a softer, more delicate and more flavorful rice ball. Ma non verrà una massa appiccicosa. Il riso sarà molto gradevole da mangiare. Adesso cominciamo. Ti faccio vedere. Once the rice is room temperature, we scoop it in the palm of our hands. No. Apriamo, Open mano up. a coppetta, aspetta, ti fa Pat it down, Spendi. yes, add the ragu, no. mozzarella, mozzarella cheese, mozzarella. Mm -hmm. e poco poco di altro riso, mm -hmm. little more rice. and a little on more top. rice on top. Okay, and ora. Then gently form Facciamo. it into a ball and put it in Aiuto. the fridge for two hours. Is arancina. Arancina. Yes. Pastella. Now for the thin crust that will prevent the rice and ragu from falling apart while in the hot oil. Take extra fine flour, mix it with water. Ancora un po'. Okay, mix. Stato. Breadcrumbs. Yes. Dip the balls into the batter. Pasta. And roll it in breadcrumbs. Angrattato. One uh, hour. Yes, to be honest, also now he has to rest one hour in this way. Okay. In, in the, it's better, in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So this cool. stays for two hours in the fridge. Yeah. Then it goes into the batter, yes. the breadcrumbs, yeah. and then rests again. Yes. One so hour. arancini takes mm -hmm. a, in, uh, mm -hmm. all day. All day, yes. All and day to make. This is... Pronto l'arancino, pronto per friggere. Ok, mm -hmm. adesso porteremo l'olio. Now for the frying process. First, get the oil to the right temperature. 180 gradi. The first time at 160 degrees. The second time at 180 degrees. Oh, oh 160. Okay. So first time 160. Yeah. Tu gli arancini. So you fry it once. Yes. And then you put it back in there 180 degrees. Adesso portiamo sì. l'olio. Pronto. It's ready. We deep fry the rice balls twice. First to solidify the shape and a second time to melt the inside ingredients together. Esterna dorata. 
So the crust will be harder. Yes. There's an exact science to this. E quando tu mangi l'arancino farà crunch. Okay. <laughs> Arancini or rice balls, centuries old recipe, still a hit today. Ecco, almeno il morso. Brava! Ok, belli Giovanni! Dai, non ti sei visto una cosa bellissima! Delicious! Very oh, good! No, che... I made that's, why my... she's the best, that's why she's the best chef in Sicily. It's, <laughs> it's delicate, I've eaten these my whole life. Aren't they delicious? Mm -hmm. This is how you make them, folks. Take good notes. Okay. Thank you. Grazie a te. Silvana. Grazie. This, this has been great. I learned so much about cooking and about the culture. Sì. Grazie. And you, I can see and feel your passion. Sì. You love okay. cooking. Yeah. Sì. Grazie. Grazie a voi. Ciao, America. <laughs>